And in those last moments he said, As-salah, as-salah, wa ma malakat aymanukum. As-salat, as-salah, wa ma malakat aymanukum. As-salat, as-salah. Leaves you these last words. As-salah. As-salah. The summary of all his teachings was, it seemed, in this. The purity of the deen in Jazirat al-Arab in particular. And as-salah. As-salah. My brother, my sister. وَمَا مَلَكَتْ أَيْمَانُكُمْ And those whom your right hand possesses. Monday morning. Fajr time, Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala is the Imam of the believers. Suddenly, suddenly, the curtain opens. From the private quarters of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala and that door opened directly into the masjid. In the front rows of the masjid, the curtain is open, and Rasulullah is standing at the door, seeing Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu leading his ummah in salah. The last sight from this dunya of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam was his ummah in salah. His ummah united in salah. That was the last sight of his ummah. They were so elated, so happy. قَالَ أَنَسْ كَادُوا يُفْتَتَنُونَ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ فَرَحًا بِرَسُولِ اللَّهِ Out of joy, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam now is healed. They thought he came to lead us again. No, he did not. When he looked at them, he smiled. He smiled and then he closed the curtain. Fatima alayhi salam wa radiyallahu anha came to him he called her and whispered a few words in her ears and she wept and he called her again and he whispered a few words in her noble ears and she smiled later she knew she was to say that the first few words he whispered into my ears were, I will die. She wept. The next 
words he whispered in her ears were, you will be the first one of my household to join me. She smiled. And yes, six months later, she joined him. الرحمن ابن أبي بكر رضي الله تعالى عنهما enters the private quarters of رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وصحبه وسلم and he's laying in the arms of Aisha against her noble chest and أبو بأن Abdul Rahman was carrying a miswak. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Aisha, who read, who read with her eyes of her head and her eyes of her heart, every move external and internal of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it seems she said, I knew, as he looked at Abdul Rahman, that he perhaps wanted siwak. At that moment, Ya Rasulullah, at that moment, she said, I told him, would you like the siwak, Ya Rasulullah? He moved his head, yes. She took it from him and, and then she never forgot this to be one of her most special privileges with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam قالت اختلط ريقي بريقه عند موتي my saliva mixed with his at the moment of his death for she said to him as the siwak was hard she said shall I soften it for you took it in her noble sweet mouth and softened it, softened it, and gave it to him and he took it in his mouth, right after that. اللهم الرفيق الأعلى اللهم الرفيق الأعلى From among the Nabiyin, 
منذ مقربين منذ الشهداء منذ الصالحين والله فكفني والله كرهتني رحمة I think I've said this before and I feel like I've reacted to this but it was a shorter version of this I'm not even sure but one thing I like is the fact that oh no not the fact but I'm saying what I'm trying to say is uh, Muhammad's tray has been one of those trays that I've enjoyed do, reacting to and learning about and just getting knowledge about otherwise it's really really sad I mean as much as I think I said this way back as much as death is a bad thing we should rejoice because the people we love are going to meet our creator and that's all that should matter to us otherwise always remember god to be there for you do good do as much good as you can and just let him guide you submit to god and just enjoy life walking knowing that he's by your side let me know what you think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video